I'm sure that you have already seen stunning generated pictures with a lower prefix in Reddit, YouTube and other social networks. I was in a situation like this one. Today I'll help you to figure out what LoRa is. But more importantly, at the end of this video you can use Table Diffusion with any desirable LoRa model. Only one link and about 3 clicks, without any limitation, if you know what I mean. And yes, absolutely free, maybe this part of moral support of my channel. I will also show you where to find cool LoRa models. In in case you're not aware of it, but it will be a little later. LoRa or Low Rank Adaptation for Fast Text Diffusion into an Image is a mathematical method that reduces the number of parameters for training the stable diffusion model. Maybe it sounds a bit complex, but in a simple terms, LoRa can consider it a miniature version of stable diffusion to which new information has been added through special training. This information can include the after style, faces, poses, or surroundings, and you can make the same, cause the main advance of LoRa is the small size. The average model size does not exceed 200 MB. And now it's important to know that LoRa is not a replacement for traditional stable diffusion model, rather than its enhancement that helps improve generation results. So let's try LoRa over the example of some the brain trained model from Civit AI along with the augmented Google Collab notebook that you might already be familiar with. Okay, let's go! We have here file stable diffusion 02. Some of you are already familiar with this file from my previous video. For those who are not, it's quite simple, exceptional simple. Just run each cell by pressing this button. You should run them consequently, starting next one after finishing previous one. That's it. Now we install requirements. It takes just about 30 seconds. In the step 2, we should download our model. You can choose any model you like. I decided to take quite popular one, Realistic Vision V2. When you open my Google Collab file, you will see the same links. We install our requirements and now let's run step 2 and download our model. Here we go. We just download our model and now very important step. Let's download our LoRa model. Almost the same like in previous one. You can choose any model you like in a Civit AI. I decided to take this one with Gargadot, which is quite popular and has very high rating. So let's try to download this model. How to do that? Just press this button download with the right click and copy link address. Then pass it here. I already done this, but I pass once again. Here you can download up to 5 LoRa models. I think it will be sufficient. And also I provide with links with another model which also nice. As I said before, LoRa model not as big as base stable diffusion models. So we download them in several seconds. Here we go, we just downloaded all LoRa model. Uh, there is also step 2.2 with ctrl.net model. I added the cell because a lot of you ask me to, to do that because you have problem with downloading models. In this particular video we don't need that ctrl.net models, but uh, in the uh, foreseeable future I think I make video about ctrl.net. If you want me to make this video, let me know. Final step, step 3, run stable diffusion. Stable diffusion just started, let's open the web UI using this link. And now we in a web UI. Let's take this prompt for this specific LoRa model. Important to know that for each LoRa model exists specific trigger vote. In case for this model it's GL dot. Let's copy entire prompt. In order to do that, press this button here. Then press copy generate generation data. And then paste it to stable diffusion web UI. Then press this button here. This apply all prompt parameters to stable diffusion. This actually is the best way to use prompts. Not too many people know about that. Now we just need to activate our LoRa model. For this, uh, we need to press this button here. Then choose LoRa tab here, and then choose your model. I know that uh, Gelgadot model is this one, so I click on my model, and in a prompt section, I see this specific vote. These parameters, which is one at this moment, determine how strong effect LoRa model will be. I decided to choose one. Feel free to experiment. Let's change prompt a little bit. I don't want a bad bad cosplay. I want a bad girl cosplay. I think that will be way more cooler. Also, determine your seat in order to reproduce results. 
and batch count let it be 8. So everything is ok and let's generate our results. And we've got our results. She looks stunning. I do like it. Especially these colors which look so dramatic. So that's it. Now you know how to use logo models and you can do it by your own. But you can use several logo models. That's also not so difficult. Just press this button once again. Choose your model. I wanna use this one 33, which add some details on the faces, which makes look them way more natural. Also, you can change the specific parameters, which at this moment is one. And let's see. We've got our results, and as you can see, faces looks way more natural, more details, and I do like it. So now you know how to use logo with my notebook. You can use it freely without much troubles. If you have any ideas, problems, welcome in a comment section down below. I'll be glad to read it and help you if I could. Thanks for watching. Let me know if that video was helpful for you. See you.